Hi Cody, so as you requested to send you a video how we can customize uh, the values in this uh, booking form. So I'm going to tell you how you can do that. So first of all, when you come back to the admin area, then you will see this super forms. Okay, and then you have to click in here, your forms. And once you click in there, here is the form background or fam dashboard here you will find all the forms so currently uh, these are two dummy forms one service estimation calculation and then the form name okay so the main form that you have to edit is booking form so we have to click in edit okay so this is the back end of the form where we have to make the customization on the values for the cost of each service that has to be requested by the customer so this is the first field service type okay so if you have to make the changes on the values of each field then we have to click in there this pencil icon when when we move the cursor over there then we can see a tooltip menu edit element so we click in here and when we click in here then we will see the details right here okay so currently these are all the values of this radio button okay radio field currently this is the standard this is the deep this is the move in move out okay and uh, here you can see 85 20 24 okay so for now I'm gonna test it actually okay let's test the value okay so now we have to set our actual values actual price for each service so for standard cleaning if you want to update your price then just replace the 85 value with your own price okay for example if you want to do 45 for the standard cleaning then we can select 45 we just have to enter here we don't need to include any uh, dollar sign or pound sign or euro sign okay we can implement that later on when we have to apply the payment only payment system so we can leave it for now we just have into the numeric value here so here we have 45 the standard cost and this is the deep cost and uh, this is the move in move out cost okay so once it's all done then we have to simply click in there update element okay once you click in update element the price will be updated so another field that we have to update is this is the time frame uh, how the cleaning has to be done one time weekly bi-weekly monthly so i didn't apply any cost in there because i don't think that uh, cost is required to be applied in this field okay so i just left it but if you want to do that okay if you want to apply the cost a different cost as per the selected cleaning cycle then you can select the cost as well here in this field as well we have to click in edit button and then we have to come back here so for now you can see that one time is an option and then this is the value of that input field okay so if you have to enter the price then we have to remove this one the value field has to be cleaned out and then we have to enter our price if you want to give extra price for one time cleaning then we can enter that extra price right here in the field of value if you want to add $10 or anything else that you want to do, then we have to click here, $10, okay? And the same thing has to be done on weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, okay? So we just have to remove the value, and then we have to enter the price, okay? This way we can do that. So I'm gonna, I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to leave it. But if you want to do that, then you can do that. Okay, I'm closing it. So next step is here. This is the number of bathrooms number of bedrooms so if we have to apply the cost here then i'm going to show you how we can do that actually in this field uh we don't have to enter the price here okay because uh, we only have to get the value selected by the customer okay the customer has to select the number of the rooms number of the bathrooms number of the bedrooms so the customer will select here and that selected value will be sent to the subtotal field and then we will apply a calculation okay we will uh, uh, apply a mathematical 
rule here in the subtotal okay and then we will generate a cost as per the selected bathrooms or bedrooms okay so we have left it here and i'll explain how it works in the subtotal field but the next step is this one clean oven these are the extra fields that a customer can actually select so we have to click in edit and then we have to go to the items which have to be updated so this is the oven cost so oh, the oven cost is for five dollar for now but this is dummy cost you can update it the same thing is just like uh, the earlier field that i told you about so the same way you can update the cost and then once the cost is updated click in update button okay so it's all done now we have to move on to the next step so this is the uh, this is this is another field how many hours you want so in this field i also updated the cost value okay i uh, added a mathematical rule here for this field as well but this is the field which is uh, being calculated in the subtotal area okay not here so i will tell you about this field right in there and rest of the fields are not uh, included for the calculation because those are the normal fields so now i'm going to subtotal field when we click here then we will see all mathematical rules which have been applied to get the total value total cost so here are the rules okay for your comfort i'm copying this code and going to paste it in a notepad file so that i can actually make it bigger so that you can check it see it clearly okay okay so here is the service so the service type is it's a this field okay so it's free it's uh, uh, it's a uh, calculation is already being done within the field okay it's not being done in the subtotal field so we just had to copy the field value okay so i copied it and uh, ins inserted it within the within these uh, commas okay and then we applied a plus icon plus sign and then here is the bedrooms and bathrooms values which has to be multiplied by the per room charge okay this is the charge which i am applying per bathrooms or per bedrooms okay so 12 dollars okay dollar 12s have been applied for each room cleaning okay this is the bedroom cost so if you have to apply uh, you have to update the uh, cleaning charge per bedroom then you simply have to replace this 12 value from here and you can enter 20 or 25 or whatever you like okay so you just have to update this value but you don't have to add or delete anything else otherwise you will completely mess this code okay so just update this value for bedrooms and then update this value for bathrooms okay and this is the additional service that was uh, for oven fridge uh laundry or other services okay and this is another value which is calculated here in the subtotal field hours required okay so the customer will select the number of hours he or she needs okay and then those hours will be multiplied by no, number eight okay so number eight is actually a dummy value for now dummy cost but if you want to apply a standard or different charge per hour then you can replace it with your preferred number suppose fifteen dollar per hour so you can upload uh, apply that okay once it's all updated then simply copy this space or copy this code and paste it paste it in the calculation field here okay it's done and once it's done then simply click in update element and rest of the fields are already set up here is the currency symbol already added okay so once we update it then we have to make a size final save so we finally save it and once it's saved then it will be take effect on the front page okay and this way everything will be done and another thing that you have to do is you have to go to the next step here is the form setting in the form setting 
you can set your email address here you have to enter your email address where the email addresses will be sent okay for example you want to set the email address where you will receive the form data then you have to enter your email address like uh, Cody Ford at gmail.com or whatever your email is okay and uh, this is another email field this one which is uh, a field which uh, this email actually will be used to send the email from your website okay so this will be the company email address like uh, no reply at uh, madready.com or whatever you like okay and uh, this is the form name so mad ready online booking okay and uh, if you want to reply to the customer automatically set a custom reply to header uh, this is not that field actually so automatically headline works mm. okay once it's done then we uh, hit a save button and then we have to move on to the next step confirm as an email so this is the confirmation email which has to be sent to the client okay so if you want to send a confirmation email then just let it select it send a confirmation email and if you don't want to send any email address to uh, email uh, a confirmation email to the client then you simply select do not send a confirmation email okay once you select that then all the fields will be hidden but if you want to send then you have to select send a confirmation email okay so already an email value is here so this is the email of the customer uh, this is the email which will be taken from the form data so you have to do nothing with that and uh, send email from so here you will use email address which will be used to send the email to the client and then this is the form online cleaning booking okay so this is the message that you can update as per your choice and uh, this is the subject which will be uh, visible on the email subject line so online booking online cleaning booking okay so that's it once it's all done then simply save button and everything is done okay i hope you understand and enjoy the video Thank you.